Hi everybody, I hope you're well. Uh, today I will read from a book titled Classroom, a Teenage View, curated by Joaquin Moreno and published by Puente Editores. Andre Tavares, Fabrizio Gallanti and Adinda van Gestelen wrote Public education has been a cornerstone of the new Europe, an edifice that emerged from the ruins of the Second World War. In fact, until 1989, the attention paid to pedagogy could be seen as one of the few common traits shared by the countries of the former capitalist and communist blocs. In both cases, widespread access to free schools and the progressive extension of compulsory education were deemed crucial tools in order to form idealized citizens. Amid the post-war period, a new human subject emerged across all industrialized countries, the adolescent or teenager. This figure, which historically had never existed before, is no longer a kid, but not quite an adult. However, these subjects are formally recognized as adults when they turn 18. In numerous countries around the late 1960s, the voting age was lowered from 21 to 18. Especially in the affluent West, this novel subjectivity spans the different social classes. Ideology, lifestyle and taste converge into an odd concoction of consumerism and rebellion. How to educate the vast masses of adolescents and for what objectives becomes a crucial issue across politics. It is no coincidence that just as the voting age is lowered, multiple countries opt to extend the time frame of compulsory education. This is when the high school, which until the early 1950s was the site of reproduction of the bourgeois elites, truly begins to boom, and it soon takes on a focal, critical role in every young person's life. The 19th century disciplinary approach gradually loses its grip. It is first weakened by the deep contestation of 1968, and then newer experimental methodologies are introduced aimed at improving collective education. The project Classroom, made up of a variety of components, a traveling exhibition, workshops with high school students, a dedicated digital platform, an international symposium and this publication is the result of a collaboration of three European institutions dedicated to architecture, arts and design. The three participating institutions, namely Garage Sul, Centro Cultural de Belém, Portugal, Arc en Rêve, Centre d'Architecture, France, and Z33, House for Contemporary Art, Design and Architecture, Belgium, rapidly found common ground for exchange, dialogue and collective work around the subject of adolescence and the spaces where teenagers are educated. Every worker for these institutions had similar personal experiences when younger. The memories of these formative years can be considered the collective mental substrata of all European citizens. In the inception of this initiative, it became immediately clear that reflecting on the current state of secondary education was a necessary task. Stimulated by the initial perspective ideas of the curator, Joaquin Moreno, we shifted our focus to the spaces and physical qualities of the sites that we studied classroom could be described as a vast deductive inquiry. By analyzing and understanding multiple factors, such as the layout of buildings, their presence within the urban fabric or against the landscape, their functional program, the building materials used, the furniture, facilities and details, it becomes possible to read the intentions not only of the architects and designers, but also of the educators, civil servants and politicians. Through the case studies selected for the exhibition and this book, Classroom generated a kaleidoscopic portrait of the school setting within which millions of Europeans have grown up. The title of the project is almost a tautology, since it centers on the architecture of our most pervasive, obsolete and contested learning environment, the classroom itself. 
If we consider adolescence and the oft neglected spaces of secondary education as the threshold through which children are transformed into the citizens of the future, the classroom helps us understand how learning takes place today and how we might innovate in the design of secondary school architecture. The project aims to identify and understand best practices, pointing out trends and solutions for the future within a highly dynamic context where our access to culture and information is morphing at the speed of light. The aim of this book is for it to become a reference in the ongoing debate about spaces of learning and education. It presents contributions from experts in the relevant fields, along with the research underlying the project, select case studies and testimony of the iterations of this initiative in France, Portugal and Belgium. It cements the optimistic view shared by the project's participants over the years. We all firmly believe that public education is a foundation of contemporary Europe and that the right architectural and design solutions really can enhance and multiply its power. Ask for the book at your local bookstore. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.